Grace Marley from The Energy Boutique with your energy forecast for Wednesday, March 23rd. So the moon is going to continue to be in Sagittarius all day again, adding a little bit more fire to this fire season that we're just getting adjusted to. And of course, the moon in Sag likes to think big, likes to think about the possibilities, wants to dream about all the new experiences, wants to be confident and optimistic that what it is that our heart and our soul is drawing us to do will actually happen. So it is kind of very inspirational. It's definitely showing us where we have to have a higher understanding, a bigger, broader perspective of the inner workings of the pain and struggles that we just had to endure. There are nine different aspects taking place here today and seven of them involve the moon. The moon right out of the gate is going to bump into Saturn in a very positive way. This is us getting a grip on our emotions, on our thoughts, on our focus. This is us kind of coming to terms with the situations that have unfolded, really kind of plucking out the silver linings, realizing where it is that our faith has been tested in order for us to be renewed. This is definitely pushing us into new roles, new responsibilities that many of us wouldn't have chosen for ourselves, but we do feel an underlying mission, an underlying soul contract in order to step forward and totally fulfill them. The moon is going to try and Chiron, the wounded healer, and this is definitely a positive aspect. This is showing us where it is that we've been able to really align with our higher belief system, with the bigger, broader perspective. And where it is that we are healing some of the painful emotions that have been brought to our attention as of late. There's almost a peace that comes over us in this new perspective that we're having. And it's definitely shifting our perspective and focus on who it is that we now have to be. Again, many of us have been rocked with circumstances of loss, of death, of detachment from old people, old relationships, old jobs, old circumstances. And again, leaving us questioning who it is that we now are without these elements in our lives. We're definitely understanding the greater, grander plan now, the life lessons that have been thrown at us, pushing us to be in this particular position where we really muster up a brand new courage, a brand new bravery, and of course, a brand new trust in the greater, grander plan. The moon does bump into Uranus, though, in not the nicest way. This will likely throw a wrench in our plans, be an outside trigger, an outside activation, really kind of confuse us on what it is that we need to do moving forward. Uh, we're coming to a lot of realizations. We're seeing little bits of clarity come through, but emotionally speaking, we don't know what that means for us. We're still very confused in our heart space, in our head space on how to move forward, on what that looks like, on how to put one foot in front of the other, on how to find a grounded, balanced place within our heart and head to actually operate from. Now, the moon goes ahead and sextiles Mars. Mars, of course, the ruler over this airy season. Mars being in Aquarian energy is a little bit erratic, a little bit spontaneous, a little bit unpredictable. And of course, with the moon in Sag, another fire energy, this can really push us to act on our emotions, act on our feels. Now, this could be a very good thing for us because we do need to muster up a new courage, a new bravery in order to take a step forward forward into the new roles, the new responsibilities, the new circumstances that we're now being faced with. We're definitely a little bit more passionate to see a certain task or mission through. But again, the moon and Sag does not have a perfect direction, a very clear intent. So we might be exerting a lot more energy trying to find the right direction than actually making progress in the right direction if that makes sense it's almost like we're a little bit erratic we're kind of bouncing all over the place we are kind of trying to move forward but it might kind of look like a pinball machine before we actually see ourselves in a different placement 
The moon goes ahead in semi-squares Pluto. Pluto, of course, the great transformer, really doing a deep dive into the darker parts of ourselves, of our psyche, of our heart space, of our experience. And this semi-square definitely puts us in a little bit of a tension point in order for us to make a choice. Yes, we're feeling the squeeze. Yes, we're feeling the pressure. Why? Because we're in an adjustment period and this never feels good. We aren't connected to the past like we once were, but we're not quite quite firmly standing in the future, which leaves us in this very unstable ground in this present moment. We are making huge leaps and huge bounds in our emotions, in our perspective, in our headspace. But there's a lot of emotional drama coming up at this time. And when that emotional drama comes up, it's showing us where it is that we are still fearing failure, fearing rejection, Fearing that we're going to go ahead and put all of our heart and soul into this new mission, into this new path, and that it's not going to equal out to what it is that we are hoping it would be. Don't let the negative narrative get you down. This is just a test and we're going to have a beautiful opportunity to pass that test when Mercury goes ahead and conjuncts, sits next to, meets up with Neptune. So Mercury is finishing up his last couple final days in Pisces season. Thank goodness. And Neptune, of course, the ruler of Pisces energy, we are definitely trying to push the boundaries between letting our intuition, our higher self, our dreams, our creativity lead, and Mercury energy trying to make sense of it, using our logical, practical brain in order to make some steps and come up with a plan and really integrate uh, the magic that we know to be true from the universe, from our higher selves, to allow that to actually integrate into our lower level intellect to try and make sense of it so that we can go ahead, get an agreement, get an alignment, and go ahead and take action. This particular aspect, though, is going to provide us with a huge, huge spiritual awakening. This is like our mental plane reaches a new level of spiritual understanding. We are able to grasp a new dream, a new vision, gain that clarity. We are kind of amalgamating the higher self with the lower self. We're getting ourselves in alignment, in agreement. This is a great time to talk about your dreams, your new creative ideas. This is a good time to get in agreement with yourself, even having that inner dialogue, boosting yourself up, really infusing yourself with the magic, the inspiration coming from the higher realms of intelligence. This is really going to shift our focus, shift our energy, shift our attention, and definitely help blend the energies from our higher selves with the new ego identity that, of course, we are all trying to rebuild. Mercury continues to push the boundaries by sextiling the true note. The true note, of course, is our destiny point, constantly trying to show us where it is that we need to focus our energy, where it is we need to exert our time and attention. And Mercury, a ruler of the mental plane, bumping into the true note in this way, especially after this little engagement with our higher selves, this is an evolution of our mental plane, of our mind, of our thoughts, of our narrative. This is like we are being renewed with the spiritual purpose that we definitely have been struggling to be in alignment with. This is recognizing where the growth has taken place, where new ideas ideas are really coming in hot and heavy in order to inspire us to motivate us to make a dramatic change the moon goes ahead and sextiles venus the goddess of love and beauty and worth and value and pleasure who is in aquarian energy looking to be a little bit more independent looking to kind of dance to the beat of her own drum, looking to experiment with friendships, with relationships, with new ways to move throughout her day, really finding the joy, the happiness in the smaller things. The moon sextiling Venus in this way is definitely pushing us to want to connect more. Now, here's the thing. 
Venus, although she wants that connection, that intimacy, being an Aquarian energy, she's a little bit detached from her emotions right now. She realizes that she's getting too caught up in her head, too caught up in her heart space. She wants to just kind of live life, trust the universe and see what kind of flows towards her. But at the same time, we are kind of at an awkward point because we have all these wants, needs and desires to truly partner up with the right people in our lives to feel that love, to feel that connection, to feel that support. So we're definitely realizing where within us we have to kind of strike a healthy balance between, you know, aligning and connecting and having that deep connection with those that we love, but still having the boundaries put in place in order for us to have our own space. So the moon is going to wrap up the day by bumping into Uranus this time in a much more pleasant way. This is going to help us come to some kind of conclusion on what it is that we actually want for ourselves moving forward, what it is that we actually need in order to feel safe and secure and supported and encouraged in life. This is recognizing our intuitive gut reactions, our new ideas, our new inspiration. It's recognizing where the boundaries need to be put in place to protect our independence to protect our freedom while still being a part of something greater and grander than just your individual self. This is going to bring some profound thoughts, some profound feelings, really shocking us with a brand new perspective, a brand new shift in energy that's really going to have a very, very intense impact on how it is that we move forward from here. 